22 out of 26 jabs in round two. 84% connect rate. Rodriguez coming out, trying to be much more aggressive in round three. He's thrown virtually all the punches, and now Brunel lands a right-left combination and starts peppering the jab again. Big effort by Rodriguez in the first minute of round three. at least as strong and probably stronger than him. So he's put together his record against guys always stronger than himself. Let go, P. Let him go, P. That's what made him a, a great boxer. He's up to, he had to overcome so many obstacles. Once you do away with those obstacles, you do away with a lot of the skills you all ordinarily needed. Well, when he was a 12-year-old amateur, he used to fight against servicemen in the Navy Yard at Norfolk who were six and seven years older and outweighed him by 40 or 50 pounds. So he came up learning against the hardest kind of opposition. Yeah, he would swim or drown. 215 amateur fights for Brunel Whitaker. And everybody talks about the Olympic gold medal, but he won the Pan Am gold. He won the world championship. He hit every target you could put in front of him as an amateur and came to the professional ranks expecting to be a champion from the beginning. This guy's never thought he had anything to learn. How do you throw out of the window, Jake the Snake? I appreciate everything you've done for me, Duba. I've appreciated Pernell, but I'm going to take your position. He's having a rough time throwing it out of the window. So he's treating Purnell with too much respect, and that's right. Too thankful, and they gave me a chance. What do I do? He's taken two hard left hands in this round. Rare chances for Purnell Whitaker to exploit his own punching power, if in fact there is any. It hardly matters in most of Whitaker's performances, but he'd love to make it matter here tonight. Both step back. Both your step back. Bill! Ah! for some real action live on viewers choice order today maybe he's holding it in reserve and doesn't think he needs it yet yeah i think it's been too easy this way so far whitaker in round three again 28 out of 38 jabs 74 percent Jake the Snake needs someone like Lou Dubin in his corner. Talking about it, urging him on. Yeah, Lou's a good cheerleader, isn't he? Boy, that Lou Dubin is top. Both of you, that Top. Cream of the crop. You mentioned earlier, Jim, about Camille Whitaker fighting sailors in his hometown of uh, in Virginia. Norfolk Naval Base there. One of the real oddities I, I find is that the two top pound-for-pound -pound fighters both come from naval towns. And the Navy has always had great boxing programs, and both of these guys were involved with youngsters and kid programs that the Navy I put on. They have a lot in common with their Olympic gold medals and other amateur pedigrees. Whoops. Whoops. Jones didn't win an Olympic <laughs> gold medal. He only no, should go, have. Come on, come on, get them hands loose. Get them hands loose, come on. Jones, of course, victimized and sold by the worst Olympic boxing decision in recent years.
Whitaker is still cautious in this round. Round four, much like its predecessor, Whitaker has landed one hard overhand left. Uh, Jake, someone needs to say to Jake, Jake, get upset. You've been hit with the hardest shot in the world. This man is not your friend. He's trying to knock you out here tonight. And Jake is going about this at such a slow pace that he's giving Whitaker every opportunity to make his target practice. That's true. No brawling, no holding, no hitting behind the head, no fouling. There's some good stuff inside for Rodriguez. And Whitaker with a straight right hand says, get out of here. as though the fact that they know each other so well has played much more into Whitaker's hands than Jake's, George. He seems to know what Jake is going to do before he does it, and he counters before Jake can even throw. He's definitely taking advantage of this, being familiar with him. He's taking advantage of it. Jake the Snake is not trying to explore his knowledge of Whitaker. Just not being aggressive enough to do that. You're gonna take this guy's title, you gotta knock him out. Make him get off the canvas. And no doubt, knowledgeable on, boxing fans yourself. in get the crowd yourself. as they watch this find their minds wandering too well. What would happen if it were Trinidad in there against Cornell Whitaker? What will that fight look like if in fact it takes place? Boy, a wonderful match. But then you bring out the best of Pernell Whitaker. <laughs> That's the classic boxer puncher matchup, huh? Tell you. I do not believe we've seen the best of that Felix Trinidad. Let him go, Pernell. Let him go, Pernell. There's more to that story, Bush. Matchup at 147 would, would have a faint glimmer of the Leonard Hearns about it. Whitaker, a boxer like Ray Leonard. Trinidad, a tall puncher like Tommy Hearns. But like Hearns, Trinidad can box. Although maybe Purnell isn't as hard a puncher as Ray Leonard was. That Ray Leonard was everything you want in a boxer. More. As he showed in the first Hearns fight. Right, break, break. Stop punching. Round five here, much like its predecessor. 
successes. Brunel Whitaker patiently waiting for Jake Rodriguez to commit or make mistakes and then penalizing him for them with counter punches. Brunel not quite as active with the jab in this round as he is content to bide his time and wait for opportunities to pile up the points against Rodriguez. And as he walks back to the corner, Brunel turns and grins openly at George Foreman and looks at Roy Jones and then looks to the Raptors as if to say, this hall isn't big enough for me. Let's just keep boxing this guy. It's just a matter of time you just weigh him down. You understand? Now when you get an inside, as soon as you get close, let the hands go up high so you can have some, so you can punch, all right? Because he's grabbing, as soon as you get an inside, he's trying to grab you, okay? But keep a good jab, but just keep boxing like that. If you hit him with these shots, he can't take this all night long like that. Okay. You can fan him and you can go with double jabs with this guy too. You know, your box is beautiful out there. And, and go with the feint, son. Stay with the feint, all right? All right. Look, it's just a matter of time. Throwing him down. Okay. Throw your jab and throw that straight left hand that you like to throw to the body. Throw that straight left hand right in his middle. But don't just stay there after you do it. Trainer manager Dave Burke has been with Rodriguez from the beginning of his decade-long professional career. See if Rodriguez can try to release the straight left hand to the body that Burke is talking about. Both fighters trying to reestablish the jab in the first minute of round six. getting underneath the Whitaker's body. But quickly one shot at a time. That flurry blocked by Brunel's gloves inside. Brunel with a judicious one-two and then stepping back to await other opportunities. Hard left hand to the side of Rodriguez's head. suggest something to me, George. Every time, or on, on several occasions, that was the result of an accumulation of body blows. Four. He hit him with about Five. six hard shots six. to the rib cage in a row. Seven. Eight. Exactly what Come happened. Come here. Come here. Is that right, man? Okay, give me this Jake one. looked like he was one. looking for an exit. He crosses himself as he goes into battle. Decides to come upstairs for a moment. I think he should go back to the body. That's where he did the damage. 